ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Not even the demigods can understand the past times and personality of the Supreme Lord. Although we are part of the Supreme Lord, we consider ourselves independent, separate controllers, and thus we cannot understand His identity. Please repeat: Neither I, Neither I, nor Brahma, nor Brahma, nor the Shri Kumaras, nor the Shri Kumaras, nor Narada, nor Narada, or the other great sages, or the other great sages. Who are Brahma's sons? Who are Brahma's sons? Now even the demigods, now even the demigods, can understand the past times, can understand the past times, and personality of the supreme Lord, and personality of the supreme Lord. Although we are part, although we are part of the supreme Lord, of the supreme Lord, we consider ourselves independent, we consider ourselves independent, separate controllers, separate controllers, and thus, and thus, we cannot understand his identity. Brahma Samhita 533 states, Advaita Manchuta Manadi Ananta Rupam, Advayam Purana Purusham Navayopanam Cha, Vedeshu Dullavam Adullavam Atma Bhakta, Govinda Madhu Purusham Tamaham Raja. I worship the Supreme Personality of God at Govinda, who is the original person. He is absolute, infallible and beginningless, and although expanded into unlimited forms, he is still the same original person, the oldest person who always appears as a fresh youth. The eternal, blissful, all-knowing forms of the Lord cannot be understood even by the best Vedic scholars, but they are always manifest to pure unalloyed devotees. Lord Shiva places himself as one of the non-devotees who cannot understand the identity of the Supreme Lord. The Lord being Ananta, has an unlimited number of forms. Therefore, how is it possible for an ordinary common man to understand him? Lord Shiva, of course, is above the ordinary human beings. Yet, he is unable to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Lord Shiva is not among the ordinary living entities, nor is he in the category of Lord Vishnu. He is between Lord Vishnu and the living, common living entity. So here the story of Mother Parvati curses Chichapit and so when she cursed and after that she was Lord Shiva is telling, neither I nor Brahma nor Oshini Kumar nor Narada. From here already we are saying they are all mostly exalted personality, top demigod, some of them, even our Acharya Mahajan. What is saying? All the great sages who are Brahma's son, not even the demigods, can understand the pastime and personality of the Supreme Lord. Although we are part of the Supreme Lord, we consider ourselves independent, separate controller, and thus we cannot understand his identity. Because in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna himself said, I reserve the right. Spiritual knowledge means I reserve the right to reveal myself. Nahaṁ prakāsa sarvasa yoga mayam samabhita nahaṁ nahaṁ janāti Because most of the living entity, they are covered by the three modes of material nature in different degree. And you see the great Acharya, Prabhupada, coming and uh, he is saying, get up early in the morning, take bath, come to Mangalayati. And he is saying, then you are in a mode of goodness, whatever. And 
other places is saying comparing lord shiva is then later on also saying so many things very good instruction he holds no one as very dear no one as enemy it is said just shasti bhakti bhagavati akinchana one who is rendering pure devotional service sarvai gunai he develops all the good qualities of a demigod you see the demigods even cannot understand so krishna said bhagavad gita manushana when he say manushana our acharya madhacharya say manushya means at least in the mode of goodness at least he control his senses he knows i am not this body samo damo tapo saucham khanti arjavam gyan vigyana astikam brahma karma svabhavam brahmin works this way and simad bhagavan further more qualification this symptom of brahmin he gives and that is why prabhupada also said institute born as some dharma before he leaves but nobody want to become shudra identified but prabhupada said he, he this shudra is not this is born as some dharma and goal is to become devotee of vishnu as a prabhupada said in the born as some dharma of course everybody should respect a sannyasi and what is the signature of sannyasi Prabhupada's book is written. How this seems to be Brahmin, society born as some Brahmin is top guru, higher than Brahmin is Sanasi, but higher than Sanasi is also there. They are Vaishnav, and Prabhupada said, Is gone. I want this uh, Grihastha should be Goswami, they should be Paramahamsa. And this is Pope's instruction, and this is our goal to go back to Godhead. And here we find Pope is telling in the part four that Krishna, Lord gives, maybe bhakti, but easily doesn't give love of Godhead. So we can see in bhakti there are different stages. Is there? There are there are kanishto adhikari, madhyam adhikari, uttam adhikari. Uh, they are pure devotee or paramahamsa, and this symptom Prabhupada everywhere given in his book again and again. In the beginning, he said, "Now we are here. We make this society to make everybody bhushna." Then sometimes we'll say, "I, I want to make first-class Brahmin. Brahmin is like in a society compared to your body is like a head. Brahmin means he advises those who are chhatiya and who." who will make decision that who are the top boishnav this committee will make decision in every man that is supreme in other words top boishnav's quality will know cha any moment pov was whatever i have given you don't change keep in tact and says you don't take sometime maya seriously Some of the symptoms of us say it ours. The father, uh, for our good spiritual father, tell the children uh, that do this, 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 so that in future uh, we can maintain our purity and people respect us. And this movement is supposed to go coming ten thousand years. So it seems like we have got a great responsibility to maintain our purity, standard, quality. And here we are learning from Lord Shiva how he is humble, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself said, "Tina dopi suni chena." Though he is cursed, here is Lord Shiva is a great Vaishnav, Vaishnava Anang Jatha, some top Vaishnav, and he is accepting this. Uh, as a joke this um, uh, chitoketu's comment kachitoketu the way he behaved he laughed 
see Parvati on the lap of Lord Shiva and in front of the great sages. They didn't say anything. But Pubhasi is just like a two equal, they are, they are brothers. Vaishnav, he, he should not criticize. So Prabhupada had got a lot of comment on this. He can, he is on that level. But we can learn from Prabhupada. There are many cases like that when there is a conflict between Lord Shiva and Prajapati, Daksha. Prajapati, Daksha, that's the material plane thinking he is my son in law. And the way he treated, uh, we find that he did not think of the Lord Shiva such a great Vishnu. He didn't think from that angle. So the result what happened we saw. So here also this is very important for us to learn so much thing how Lord Shiva is so humble and he's saying that cannot understand the personality of the Supreme Lord. And this is our Guru. So it is very confusing to people, uh, to devotees, depending on what level he is. But those who are Vaishnav, top Vaishnav, they know. They know how to see things. Just like the sannyasis, sometimes are bewildered to make decisions sometimes, sometimes conclusion in different topics, which is very bewildering and confusing, perplexing. And they have to go higher authority. Once Bhaktivinoda Thakur was in staying in little seclusion. He thought, I have lived long time, now I live alone. Grihastha is supposed to not always live with his family. With attachment to husband and wife is very strong to cut off. That attachment is this gradual stage. And he should take Bana Prastha, stay away from wife. And this is nothing to do with book knowledge. Nothing to do with book theoretical knowledge of scripture. It's something to do with the heart and mind, all these things. Some think this body as himself, lower state. Some more advanced, he thinks the subtle body or mind is me. I didn't find it. The more advanced he knows I am the soul, I have nothing to do with the material activity. In the spiritual plane, Brahma Bhuta, Prasannatma, the symptom is given, he is always Prasanna, not Vishanna. So everything, Baba says, ideal question and look for ideal answer is there. So how to solve material problem with spiritual knowledge? Like that. This is here is the spiritual knowledge. So though he is a sannyasi, appears to be greater, he is going to Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who is a grihastha. But actually he is a paramahamsa. That is why Prabhupada said, our grihastha, Prabhupada expects to be paramahamsa or Goswami. Goswami means he has control over mind, senses, and this is a matter of practice. And then he has got many stages. He is sannyasi, all right, in advance, eh, Kutichak, Bahudak, Paribrajak, then become Paramahamsa. And Paramahamsa symptom is there. And Prabhupada's book is not easy. Paramahamsa Nirmatsarana Angsata is non envious. And this is material symptom. If you have got enviousness, how you keep you Paramahamsa? But hearing Krishna Katha, Ram Katha, Hari Katha from a pure devotee, we can be, one day become free from all these lusty desires. And we ask ourselves, devotees are introspective, we ask how much I have become free from all these things. Uh, lust, lusty desire, calm, crowd, anger, love, greediness, moha, illusion, mod, arrogance, pride. Matsujya, enviousness. These are our eternal enemy from time immemorial. Here see how Parvati getting very angry. The devotee control. Over here also some, some places uh, he is he, discussing this thing. How much a woman may be advanced? Very difficult for her. 
come to the mode of goodness. And that is why he said, he gave some comment. I won't tell more. I don't want to be something, say something debatable <laughs> and face. Just repeating what Prabhupada say. Preaching means repeat what you learn from your guru. Don't give your own opinion and make comment till you come to that stage. Otherwise, it will become both system, which means material plane, and it won't solve our problem. Never solved before, neither solving now and future. If you have got a problem, just sit down and chant Hare Krishna together. And you'll find Krishna will solve your problem. You are not always, moment do materially, again problem. Again meeting and so many things, I don't want to say. This is what he said. So very, the best thing is, just read Prabhupada's books every day and put Prabhupada at the center. Who do you think you are? You are sitting here, why do so many things happening? May not be, that may be far from palatable. Ah. This is reality. We must face the reality, not escape it. Kuba said, we are not going to escape, we are facing it. You have got problem, read my books and find out what is the solution. Everybody knows we are facing many challenges, problems. If you follow Prabhupada's method, there is chance to solve the problem. And not following Prabhupada's product, I don't know. And take responsibility. Hmm? Here, even Lord Sri was saying, they are supposed to teach us. He is saying, that means he is teaching us how to become humble. I heard Jesus Christ said, he is our Guru Prabhupada said. He said, only those who are meek and humble, he can enter into the kingdom of God, not others. Not others. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saying, who can glorify God? Now who is Trinadopi Sunichana? Here is Trinadopi Sunichana. Here is Krishna Das Kaviraj. He also said like that. You see, Nityananda Prabhu did the same thing. Uh, another place he said, Dinere Odhik Daya, those who are very humble and meek, Odhik Daya Paran Bhagavan. Lord showered more mercy to somebody who is more meek and humble. And then Prabhupada also said, uh, uh, you want to make advancement, become meek and humble. We see the life of some devotees, even in Iskon, say, Jayananda Bahu. Uh, he, I heard one day, he opened a center. In early days, open center means get some place rented and bring some boys or girls, make them chant Hare Krishna, gradually give up all four very principles. At once, he may not. It, it is difficult to give up all this bad habit. He may at once uh, agree and they accept him, but sometimes may not be possible for him. And start. And many people outside are like him because of his nice characteristic. He was the engineer, but he is very humble. Huh? Here is Chitsukutu, very humble. He was cursed. He could retaliate. He could also curse her, but she did not do. In the material world, it is very difficult. If you hit me, I will hit you. Either gross or subtle way. But here is a show who is a Vaishnava. That's the Lord Shiva smile. Lord Shiva didn't, he could also do something. He did not do. He took it lightly. He just smiled. Okay, you catch me. Here is a test. So we are facing this test most probably day to day. <laughs> All it's a big society. And we are knowing, and it's a nice wonderful example how Prabhupada can recognize this devotee, Jayananda Prabhu. And he said even that I praise many times, personally going to see what he is doing. And one day somebody said to came to see the head of this, uh, this center. And he is waiting, waiting. At one point say, is this in charge here? Yes. For so much, so long past, I, I can't see. Then without his knowledge uh, of that person, he went in the building and looked for his, found nobody's there. He was then rest assured. 
then came to him to join on the book and said may i ask you something and said yeah are you the head of this uh, this center said, yes now you are shocked to see what he was doing he was accepting everything is not many devotees there might might have gone to distribute book or what whatever they are not nobody is there and he is doing most menial service of um, um, dustbin and all these thing cleaning thing huh collecting them and putting he still here yes he said may i ask you are you that person yes he was so to see what humble service he is doing and maybe if we ask ourselves are you prepared to do maybe then we will know ourselves how much humble we are how much me we are somebody told a card say can i digest it okay <laughs> rather smile like <laughs> lord shiva he is teaching us mahajana jana gata so pantha we should follow his footprints at this take the principle and pope bada was asked by devotee please disciple please tell i don't understand how our life style should be right life style should be the goshami don't directly follow they are liberated so don't teach so little and don't sleep at all <laughs> but gradually you should cut down if you make advancement if you make advancement then the gosh like the goshami you will know yourself i am not this body naturally you should cut down all these things gradually you are getting higher test accordingly you will detest a sense gratification are you detesting sense gratification bhakti siddhant thai uthe as much as you are advancing in krishna consciousness that much you are away from maya as much as you are into maya that much you are away from god very simple and this way you can understand vairagya vidya nij bhakti yoga the lord came to teach us vairagya vidya you will know about god vidya i am not this body i am spirit can from supreme spirit i have got a relation essence of krishna consciousness very simple i am eternal servant of krishna i am mind kick out and make i and mind spiritual bhakti vinod thakur this is your spiritual life i am eternal servant of krishna and my is only krishna is my eternal master that's all is the essence then if there is a many many circle by which is concentric there is no problem you know concentric that means one center and many many circle you drop a <laughs> throw a stone in the water and it create many concentric circle that means one center a uh, one circle is coming another circle another circle is expanding it is expanding our society is expanding but if there is center is to please our previous acharya center many problem may not be many problem may be easily solved uh, 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 this is what we learned from pohba so we can ask ourselves whether we doing that then it helps then we learn from pohba following pohba the instruction less and easily it may be easier to solve our problems and become vaishnav or vaishnavi and going back to god is our goal so here it say as, as lord shiva said here it say even see lord even the impersonal is they accept the four verses of shrimad bhagavatam coming directly from the lips of the supreme personality of god that is very powerful si bhagavan vacha ज्ञानम परम गुज मेजत विज्ञान समन्वित सरहस्यम तदंगम च विनान गदित मया दि पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड इट से नॉलेज अबाउट मी एज डिस्क्राइब इन स्क्रिप्चर इज वेरी कॉन्फिडेंशियल परम गुजम परम मीन्स एक्सट्रीमली गुजम मीन्स कॉन्फिडेंशियल एंड इट हेज टू बी रियलाइज in conjunction with devotional service the necessary paraphernalia for that process is being explained by me you may 
take it up carefully. Then he's saying, all of me, namely my actual eternal form, my transcendental existence, color, qualities and activities, Lila, let all be awakened within you by factual realization out of my causeless mercy. Without the mercy of the Lord, we cannot understand God. There is a God is sometimes called Obang Manoso Gochara. It cannot be expressed. It is beyond the conception of our mind. Mujjanti Jatsudaya. He being the greatest demigod, sometimes are bewildered to understand God. Dudbi Bhabbam. That is beyond the, our material understanding or conception. In Brahma Samhita, again about Lord Vishnu, Lord and, and Lord Shiva, it says, Lord Shiva is great person, no doubt, but still the defiance is, though he is so powerful, defiance like a one is milk, the, the supreme personality, if he is considered milk, then Lord Shiva is like a card, yogurt. So yogurt cannot come to the stage of milk. Yes? Though it is very, uh, sometimes you get a lot of same benefit. But milk is milk. Milk is considered sometimes nectar. There is some time they are left. Question. I want some comment. There are some god brothers, sisters there. And, and some question. If anybody wants in this. Uh, 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 that sloka uh, related to this, any question can tell. I don't want to say more because this is uh, difficult. The way Prabhupada is, is talking about uh, Mother Parvati and Chitra Ketu and Lord Shiva. Yes. Hare Krishna. Mm. Nobody is saying anything. It is said, Vaishnava Prabhupada is saying, the magnanimous Chitrakatu is a dear devotee of Lord. He is equal to all living entities and is free from attachment and hatred. The great devotee is showing his symptom. Similarly, I am also very dear to Lord Narayan, Lord Shiva. Any devotee is very dear to Lord. Different category of devotee. Therefore, no one should be astonished to see the activities of the most exalted devotees of Narayan, for they are free from attachment and envy. Just like he said, Vaishnava kya mudra bhugyana bojaya. Who is a Vaishnava? He has got all the Vaishnava qualities in Chaitanya Chaitamita. It is said, how do you know a Vaishnava? He is saying, the different category of Vaishnava, ultimately, if you become pure, completely surrendered, you will develop all the good quality of Vaishnava. There is 26 quality mentioned of a pure devotee, in Chaitanya Chaitanya Again, Krishna, when he was winding up his worldly pastime and living, he told his, uh, he didn't tell everybody, he told Uddhav, I am going back to God. Really? I also want to go. No, I will tell you who is a devotee, what is devotional service, huh? all these things, signs of devotion. Then there he, Mention who is a devotee and ultimately telling you will judge a devotee, who is a pure devotee, you will have all this developed, manifest all these 28 qualities. You see that. So these are, these are something to put for thought or meditation. Pope sometimes say, well, he is reading Doibi Shampad and Asurik Shampad. So one devotee says, I find, you said, Dambha, Dharpa, Abhimanascha, arrogance, pride, anger, ignorance, and all these things are harshness. This is the quality of a demon. So, so we find among ourselves, old, senior, every duty have got all these symptoms. Then we say, well, then think of yourself, what sort of devotional service you are doing. You do devotional service, good quality of devotional service, 
If there is, then gradually you will become free from dhambha, arrogance, pride, I am this and that, superiority, complex, dharpa, obhimanascha, egotistic, eh? harshness, enviousness, these are our eternal enemy. To become free of this, we require mercy of the Lord and His pure devotee. Mercy of the pure devotee means pleasing Him, that means following His instruction. Very simple, but difficult maybe to do sometimes. In other words, we have to pay the price. You have to pay the price. That is, somebody is paying and Prabhupada is also accepting. Why he will tell to Jayananda Prabhu, I, I think or I hope this life he has gone back to Godhead. And so, uh, we sometimes hold some ceremony in his, in his memory, maybe in his birthday or discipline. Day. Who knows, there could be so many uh, in his con, Vaishnava, Vaishnava, they are like um, Jayananda Prabhu, but may not be officially recognized. Mm-hmm. May not be officially. He may not be a sannyasi. He may not be this, that. Accomplished, great, fit, distributed this, collected this, that. Yeah. That's why it said to, under, to find a Vaishnava is very difficult to recognize. Even one is all good qualities of the Vaishnava, to find even quality of a demigod. The Vaishnava is very rare thing. Vaishnava means we are devoted. But maybe we are, we are not recognizing him or her. Many there are in his con. Otherwise, how it is going on? Compared to any other society, Krishna may be, Iskwan may be the most organized society. And Prabhupada disappeared, he is watching, who is following his instruction. And who is following? He is blessed. Yes? Yes. Not everybody says, there is doubt that means. Nah? <laughs> Not saying means doubt, but a doubtful soul, Krishna say, what happened? Doubt is like a demon. Demon means one day you finish your bhakti, he'll, he'll go away. Yes, Mataji. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mataji first. Please give us some. <laughs> give us the pass to her, this thing. Please, to the point, <laughs> relevant to ask question. If I know, I'll tell. Others, my, I think, I cannot see everybody, but some of my god brother, sisters is there. They may answer. I have limitation. But I'm repeating what people say. Yeah? Very nice, very inspiring lecture. I just wanted to add one comment to what you said was very important. One, Srila Prabhupada disciples, one disciple told Prabhupada that you blessing this this disciple more than other disciples. Huh? And uh, Prabhupada said, my blessing is for everybody because yeah. they're taking it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because they're following it. Yeah. Right. Very good. I like what you say. Yeah, it is there. Prabhupada said it is there. My, I, I equally distribute. But who can take it? Yes. Right. I agree. I hope it is not a question. <laughs> it's, it's a statement. I appreciate Highly. Yes. Another this side, yeah. Yes, time tells everything. Now. Yes. In general, that is just like what I mean is when Popa say Maya means in, in, usually external energy. But uh, Maya could mean also Yoga Maya. Maya means Krishna's energy. So it depends when and where that Acharya will tell. Yes. So we get the uh, knowledge uh-huh. through all the previous Acharyas. Uh-huh. We get the knowledge from uh, Brahma Samhita. We get the knowledge uh, in Parampara. Uh-huh. Now when we say Vaishnav, Vaishnavanam Hitta Shambhu, uh-huh. Lord Shiva is the topmost of all the Vaishnavas. Uh-huh. Yet why he has taken a position where he says that I cannot understand the Supreme Personality. Uh-huh. Because on one hand, we say that a true devotee can understand the Supreme Personality. Mm. That means, that's the why we are learning the knowledge in Parampara. So, who is that who knows the true knowledge? I mean, how do we ascertain 
Because there are topmost Vaishnava says, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So how do we reconcile this? I am slightly bewildered. Sorry for my ignorance. No, no, no. Sure. Next to you, she wants to say. Let us see what she said. <laughs> The lecture, I don't know who was giving, and there was mentioning that Krishna says, even I don't understand myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, the pure devotee understands the Lord, Lord Shiva of course understands, but nobody understands him completely because he doesn't understand himself completely. <laughs> it is said, God himself says, I don't understand myself. <laughs> what to speak of us? See, because Brahma means, uh, which is always expanding, Brahma means greatest. What to speak of Brahma, power of Brahma. And we also give the example, like uh, a business, a millennial is counting his money. Mm -hmm. So, how can we understand the money? That how much is money is there in the bank, here and there. <laughs> if he's calculating all the money, by the time he's calculated, the money has increased. Increased, that is what I said. Interest is always going on. Yeah, yeah. Ananta says always glorifying. Ananta says, he is also God. Ananta says, from time immemorial, he is glorifying Lord. But he still doesn't know. He cannot finish it. Because by the time it is expanding more. <laughs> that is what is explanation. Anybody? Yes. Who passed? Somebody there. Prabhupada says... Yeah. One by one. Please. Prabhupada says, Grihastha must be a Paramahansa. Look, loud enough. Everybody can hear. You said, Prabhupada says, Grihastha must be a Paramahansa. I did not say, Maha... Did I say, must be a? Yeah, you did not be wrong. I did not say Pauva said Gyastha must be a Paramahamsa. He said he expects Gyastha to become Goswami Paramahamsa. It's, it's very difficult for Gyastha to be a Goswami. How, what, what can help him become a Very simple. There are many Goswami, Gyastha Paramahamsa, Bhakti Vinod Thakur. You follow his footprint, you become. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask one question, one by one. Do you accept it, what I say? Yes, you accept it. The theoretical do not accept it. <laughs> do you see, you can one life become a brahmachari and become go back to God. Provided you don't see your wife, he will give you sense pleasure. If you can do that, you can one life go back to God. Whether other brahmachari, sannasi, may or may not. What is it? <laughs> Slowly. You accept? You accept? Don't theoretically accept. <laughs> you have to also do practice. Practice, do. Then, then what? Now, let other chance. Now, <laughs> other. Maharaj, in this verse, Lord Shiva and Brahma, Lord Shiva and Brahma are telling that we can't understand you, Lord, because we have that issue of love, that controlling tendency that is keeping a distance, that is creating a barrier between us and yourself. So similar to this was, uh, I had a question in my mind that uh, when we are given some responsibility, some services, so there is a tendency to, you know, uh, have a sense of belongingness, huh. issue of love, because huh. that helps us to, you know, render huh. service better because we have that stewardship, that ownership of some service, then we do it betterly. But according to this verse, if we take that issue of our controlling tendency, which comes along, you know, the responsibility of the service. So, we also get, you know, according to this, away from the Lord, so how we, you know, balance. Pope said, one place, I don't know whether you satisfy. When you become master, you, usually he thinks, Ideally, he should think, I am their servant. Now, it is easy to say, difficult to do, na? That means, he at heart is humble. Bhakti relates to the heart. But most of us, we are thinking ourselves, uh, our mind, we are thinking of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Most of the people think his mind is him. He cannot go deep into his heart. Because he is in a lower mode of... He is in a lower mode. Uh, actual spiritual life starts with, with at least is the mode of goodness and the higher mode of goodness those are they are, they are demigod so a devotee means he really has good quality, already he is demigod depending on how much he has got a mode of goodness makes sense that means he has got all these good qualities 
Now to develop this good quality depends on how much you surrender. Is that make make make? Yeah, just just mean. So to surrender is not difficult because depending on what is your past, it's very difficult to completely surrender. Yes. Oh no, because you have got some drag because of the past habit, you, you cannot you find difficult to surrender completely. No purpose, surrender right now completely. Find difficult. Sometimes we find ourselves we have got some reservation. Lord, under, under this condition I can surrender. Lord, give me this, I surrender. That means conditional. Or sometimes artificial. Yes, I am surrender. Theoretically, same. the question the, when he faces the challenges, he find difficulty. Yeah. Now, can I give other person? Yes. Yeah. Time is almost running out. Little. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Suppose you are doing service. Pick uh, uh, clearly. I would explain to them that uh, I explain the problem, or that I will tolerate it. If she is doing some service and someone comes and criticizes him. <laughs> 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 so, his, so, good telling. So, his question is that if someone is doing some service and someone comes and criticizes him, should he explain the problem or should he tolerate that is his question? If he is your authority, you check out with your authority. Authority should be who has given you this assignment. Our, how we make something decision is this. Correct term is sadhu, shastra, guru. Prabhupada is guru and sadhu who follows Prabhupada, he becomes guru also. One day, he makes sure that. So, sadhu and sadhu's symptom is there in Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita. Sadhu, shastra and scripture what is written. And accordingly, I won't tell you, because your things are a little vague. So, depending on that, general, I will tell, is this, you should have sastic knowledge, under this side, what to be done, what authority said, what Pope has said, and you, you sort it out. Make sense? Yes. No difficulty, it's very simple. Any other? Yes, sir. Give me. Guideline is Sadhu Shastra Guru. Our guideline is Sadhu Shastra Guru. Who is Sadhu written in scripture, Prabhupada's symptom? Who is Guru? That is also mentioned. And Prabhupada is an ideal Guru. Shastra. And scripture, you see? She goes in parallel. Something wrong? You see, out of these three, two, what he is saying? Follow? Make sense? Yes? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Is this audible? Yes. Uh, Maharaj, you briefly spoke about the Varnashram system. What's that? You briefly spoke about the Varnashram Dharma. Yeah. But, so, uh, in our case especially, um, we sometimes tend to get caught up in duality in, in the sense we have a particular uh, role in the society, huh. then when we step out into our professional life, huh. then we've got a different role. How, do, how can we reconcile this? It's not difficult. Those are ideal questions. Suppose if you are a grihastha, Bhakti Mahat Thakur also has got outside life with the uh, Vishwai, he was a magistrate. How he doing his magistrate work and at the same time his spiritual activity? He to lead his, uh, study his uh, life, you will find he knows how to harmonize. That is why devotees are called, Vaishnava is called a harmonist. He knows how to harmonize, to uh, uh, reverse thing and make it to this is called unity in diversity. And those two things are different. One is very pleasant smell giving and small flower. Another is flower, very beautiful, no smell. And he put it together and make a bouquet, one. Make sense? Hare Krishna. Yes. Mike. I, I, I think... Uh, you think? Just 
That is a fact. If Lord Shiva says that I do not know Krishna, that is knowing him. That is a fact. So anybody who claims that he knows Krishna actually is defying. The very thing which we are discussing. The Lord Shiva being our greatest Vaishnava, he is making us think how we should think. Yeah. <laughs> That's why uh, we can repeat what Krishna says, what the Acharya says. No, I, I, I know Krishna. I can only repeat what Krishna says about himself. Uh -huh. The Acharyas, because of their high realizations, we can repeat what they say. Rather than claiming that I know. Yeah, I appreciate what you are saying. Prabhupada, among all parts of the world, some parts, there are many philosophers. Philosopher means who likes knowledge. Knowledge means to know oneself and know supreme. So, they do sometimes speculate. Among them, he said, best is Socrates. So, he said, before Christ. And Socrates used to say, I only know that I know nothing. And more I know, more I find how much I don't know. That is humbleness. The big scientist, Newton, he also said the same thing. When people highly appreciate him, he is so knowledgeable. Then he said, I am simply picked up a few pebbles, picked up a few pebbles on the sea beach. In other words, in the ocean, I have insignificant knowledge I have got. That is humbleness. And people appreciate it. Even Einstein is very humble. He has also said something like that. I know nothing. He said one place, more I know, more I know how much I don't know. In other words, then I know how much I am in ignorance. This is nice. Humble Any other? I think time is getting over. Uh, yes? What? <laughs> Everything is there in Prabhupada's book. Come through and you'll find yourself. Mataji, Pitaji, this is all external. <laughs> what is Mataji? What is Pitaji? It's all the body. <laughs> we are not this body, we are spirit. So what Mataji should act so that they can know everything. They just follow their husband. Husband should be Krishna conscious. And what husband say? They follow. Then she will get the benefit of husband. Are they doing that? Ask themselves. They can ask themselves. Mataji can ask themselves. Make sense? Yes? Yes! <laughs> now time is over. There is some other seva. Of course it is prasad seva. It is filling the uh, more fuel in our tank, I mean engine. Should it run? There is some Lord's mercy. Please come and take In the further Please come one side, ladies, and one side, men. Hey, hey, it's a